Okay, this is a video that I've been asked to do for a very long time, so here it is, because I couldn't be bothered to do it before. Uh, this is how to time stretch on an Akai S series, and pretty much this dates back to the 950s, pretty much the same. Um, today I'll be using this one, this is the Free 200 XL, and uh, I'm using an MPC 2000 XL to trigger it. So, um, right, I've got a loop I sampled from a record and th that's at 131 beats per minute and uh, it's this one here and beneath that I've put uh, this is from the MPC now, this bit, this is a kick drum and I'll play both of these together to show you that the loop is in time and it loops perfectly, it's a 2 bar loop at that 131.1 And today we're going to stretch that to 135. And I'll show you how to use the time stretch on here. Um, the yeah, let's let's go ahead. I'll talk you through that. Uh, okay, so um, we'll just hit up the sample button now that we got we got the loop in there. I'm not going to show you how to do that. Okay. Uh, now hit up edit once we're in that screen and hit up F5 in this screen for the DSP functions, which takes you to the time stretch screen. Uh, now, one thing to note with this thing is uh, it's not actually that fancy in the Akai. Um, not fancy at all. I mean, the MPC's time stretch is better. Uh, it's a lot more accurate as well. Like um, the, the time factor on here, the percentage is only it's it's like uh, it's 105, like one, 101, 102, 103. Let's say you can't get a point like 105.5 or 0.8. Whereas you can in the MPC, so the MPC is more accurate. The other thing is the sound. Now, the only thing I'd use this for time stretching is like an effect more nowadays because it's not that great sounding unless you like that metallic sound, which is cool. So, um, yeah, but if you haven't got anything else, use it. Why not? Have fun with it. Um, right, so now we're in the time stretch screen, as I have said. And uh, if we go to the top of the page, it says stretch zone. Now this is a very cool feature because this basically it highlights what part of the sample you want to time stretch. So you can either time stretch the whole thing or, a, or or just like a bit in the middle. Now this is useful. Let's say if you sampled a I don't know a jazz record and the drummer dude right in the middle, he sort of I don't know does a little thing and it's kind of out of time, but it, but he goes back in time by the end and. Um, that kind of can ruin a loop if you think, oh man, uh, and you don't want to chop it, you just want that loop, because it sounds dope. So uh, this is where this comes in handy, so let's say you don't want to stretch the whole thing, I'll just show you quickly, I mean, uh, you preview the zone with F6. Right, so as you can hear, I've pretty much selected the whole loop there, and it, because it's reached the end. Right, so... Let's stretch the zone where it's zero. This is the beginning and this is the end. So I'll show you like that's the See I can obviously the end the beginning I've adjusted and then I can do the end, but for this example I want to stretch the whole thing. So that's a cool thing to experiment with if you have samples that kind of start on time and then suddenly, you know, jump out. So you can kind of fix it with that. Um, so let's go to the next thing, and this is uh, that's so that's first of all you want to set that because it won't be set originally, okay? And uh, next up is the time fact. Uh, sorry, not the time factor, the uh, stretch mode. Now it's on cyclic at the moment. I think that's what it defaults to. Um, cyclic is useless for what we want it at the moment, um, pretty much. Cyclic is for very very simple samples such as a one kick drum, like an isolated kick. If you want to make the decay of that sound longer, um, like a hi hat maybe, a string, just a single string sample, not like a chord but one single key. <laughs> so um, that's for very basic samples. Now Intel, which stands for intelligent, is for more musical more complex samples to stretch and that's what we're going to be using today that's what we want um, uh, when using intelligent auto C uh, you don't use that you use this for cyclic 
but we're not going into that bit. Auto sees like auto calculate something. Um, all right, so obviously we've selected intelligence. Now we have to set the time stretch factor to what we want it. So as I said, my loop is 131.1 beats per minute in here, and I want it 125. What do you know? What? <sighs> Jeez, how, how do you set the time factor? Uh, this is easy. Uh, because I don't have to use my brain for this. Thank you, Internet. <laughs> um, right to get the start to get. Uh, I'll put this in a link in this in beneath this video. Okay, it's a website, and you type in the the uh, the speed of the original sample. In this case, 131.1, and what you want it to be, 125. And you and you press apply time stretch of. And it gives you what percentage you want. Now the website tells me I need 104.88. Okay. Now I told you I don't have any point on this thing, so it's going to be 104. Okay. Now you have to set your quality and your width. Uh, now I'm going to set it to the maximum, 99. Now one note thing is the width. The higher the quality, the lower the width, and the lower the quality, the higher the width is what you want and that's what the manual says if you would have read it so uh, I'm going to set it for I don't know, a quality of 99 and a width of 32 the width by the way is the crossfades how it manages those so uh, and after this you want to press the name key because it can't overwrite to the original sample so it needs to create a new sample uh, so I mean it's saying their loop so I'm just going to call it I don't know, loop 2 enter Right, so I mean, if I hit it with the zone, that's you know I got the key thing. Anyway, let's go. Press F7, and it's doing it now. 77% done. 54. 30. Right, it's done. So if I go back into my program, that's the original loop. Now if I put the loop 2, this is the time stretched one. Oh no, it's out of time because it's not 131.1 anymore. So let's set the tempo to 125. And press play. Ah, you see it's almost there, but that's because I didn't have that point. So it's not time stretched to exactly 125. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to set the tempo on the MPC instead of 125 it's 125.8 because I didn't have that 8 remember so there it is 125.8 um, now what if I really t needed it to be uh, exactly 125 well you can so if I set it at 125 you can always adjust the pitch. I mean, it's minuscule. You won't notice the pitch change. So I can. There you go. See, it's in time. And that's exactly 125 beats per minute. I want to put it back to there. Right. So that's how you do it. I'm not sure how long this video has gone on for. Um. This. If it's not long enough, I was going to show you how to how all the other things sound. Uh, I mean, just mess about with it. That's the best thing to do. Um, can I do this? Yeah, why not? Let's quickly just give you. I just want one sample here. show you something else using the cyclic mode seeing as we have it now right let's get that sound out of there uh, call it UH extract extract exit Right, that's the sound I want to time stretch. 
Okay, and we're going to set this to cyclic, okay, and make sure all everything's selected. Have a listen to it. Right, okay, let's go cyclic. And I want it to go. It's so really stupid high, about 164%, okay. Um, now, for cyclic, you want to use auto seat, like auto calculate something, so just press that. It's done that. Uh, quality and width is not applicable to cyclic, it's only auto C you want to do before every stretch. So let's call it that, give it a new name and go. It's done. Ah, see, listen to that. Now let's see what it sounds like with Intel. Go. Oh, Jesus, this is taking too long. <laughs> Right, so that was cyclic stretch, okay. Now this is intelligent, wait for this to do its thing. It's 50% done here. <laughs> That's a short sample. Right, yeah, we're done. See, it's less sort of like the uh, cyclic one. This is the intelligence, it sounds a bit better. So that, that's, that's time stretch on your Kai. Uh, thanks for watching.